Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We here at the Immuno Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to uh, information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and once again, I have a story of the blessed and holy Rebzusha of Annapol. Rebzusha of Annapol had a gift for bringing people close to God, the makar of people, to have them turn around. And sometimes this occurred in, in very unusual, very very strange circumstances. He was at an inn and he met the innkeeper as he showed up and and somehow Rebzusha saw on the man's forehead the sins that this innkeeper did and there were a lot. He's a sinful man. Rebzusha had such empathy, such, such, a, such a connection that this shook him very deeply. Late that afternoon, as he was davening Milchamarov, the evening and the afternoon and evening prayers, he was gripped with this trembling. It was as if he himself had committed these sins. It was like it was it was like he was full of these sins. And in the middle of prayers, he cried out. He said, Zusha, Zusha, you wicked, evil man. What have you done? There's no lie that you failed to say, no temptation that you didn't get into, knowing you didn't cheat, knowing you didn't lie to. He says, what have you done? You foolish, foolish, erring man. What will be the end of this? You must, you must change your life around. The innkeeper happened to be walking by the room and he stands at the door, listening to Rebzusha berate himself over the sins. And then Rebzusha went on, setting out the day, what happened, the circumstances of these sins, pouring his soul out to the Creator. And the innkeeper was dumbstruck at the door, hearing Rebzusha enumerate his own sins, the sins of the innkeeper with such heartfelt penitence, such remorse, it made a powerful impression on the innkeeper. And it is said that from that moment on, the innkeeper changed his life around. He became observant. He became uh, more pious. He became a new man when he heard the Rebzusha confessing, not the Rebzusha's sin, but the innkeeper's sins. He had never met this man before, never knew him. But the connection that was made was so powerful and so deep, Abzusha felt as if he himself had committed these sins and he was doing penitence, repentance for those sins so much that the innkeeper himself completely changed his life around. We're going to be doing more uh, videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them uh, of some use. These are two people going through the conversion process, people who have converted Balei Tshuva, uh, Jews who are returning to an observant life, and to the people so close to my heart, the Bnei Noach. May God continue to bless you and draw you close. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel. And thank you so much.